Hi, I'm with Weems and Plath, and I'd like to talk to you about how to set up an eight-day wind ship's bell clock. With me here are two of our popular eight-day wind clocks. This is the Atlantis and the Anniversary. When you open the box of your new eight-day wind clock, you will find the key and the instructions. Please review the instructions before setting up the clock. The Atlantis clock opens by screwing off the front bezel. The anniversary clock opens by pushing a button on the side like this. Here is an example of the eight-day wind movement made in Germany for Weems and Plath. If you look closely, you can see the jeweled movement and the rotating escapement. There are two keyholes on the clock face. The left one winds up the spring for the bell. The bell on-off switch is up here above it. The right hole is for winding the spring for the timekeeping portion, and you only wind it clockwise. The clock speed adjustment is up here. When we at Weems and Plath set up the clocks initially, we let them run for a couple of weeks to make sure the time and the bell sequence is accurate. Because these are mechanical instruments, it is normal for the clock to be off two to three minutes per week, unlike the accuracy of a digital or quartz clock. Before setting the time, check to be sure the bell switch is in the off position. Remove the plastic tube from the right side keyhole. Please note, winding the clock on setup is not necessary as the clock and bell have already been wound. Advance only the minute hand clockwise until you reach the correct time. The hour hand will move on its own. Then turn the bell switch on to the bell icon position. It's important not to bend the hands and to allow at least 24 hours for the clock and bell to sync correctly after setting the clock. Once the time is set, the only thing you need to do for a lifetime of service is wind it weekly. Just remember to wind both sides. Also, please keep your ship's bell clock in a vertical position, either in its base or on a wall. The clock will not strike if it's lying on its back. If your clock runs down and stops, please wind both the clock and the bell with the key until there is gentle resistance. Then set the time and wait for at least 24 hours for the chime and clock to sync. If the time is slightly off from the chimes, then adjust the speed of the clock with this little lever up here with the plus and minus markings. Move the lever slightly towards the plus if the time is running slow and needs to speed up. Move the lever towards the minus if the clock is running fast and needs to slow down. Then watch for another 24 hours to see if the time has adjusted properly. Continue to tweak this lever if further adjustments need to be made. If you continue to have difficulty adjusting the time and need further help, please call Weems and Plath customer support at 410-263-6700 or email us at support at weems-plath.com. Thanks for watching and again, please like, share and follow these great videos.